Like, send me a coffee. Can you send me flowers? Can you send me you? Can you send me food? Some of y'all men without kids can't even help single mothers. After 25, you can't be picky anymore. I always get told that I am too intimidating just because I am a strong, independent woman. Born in certain parts of the world and being alive. We want you to take care of some bills, but you don't have a problem doing that over there. I don't have anything to bring to a table, okay? I am the table, and most of these men don't even have a table. All they have is bar stools. Hey guys, welcome back to More Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like comment subscribe also smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as i release them let's get right into this Look, whenever a man texts me and says i hope you have a good day i hope you have a good week i hope what what does one really hope when a guy says that that you shut the fuck up you right there get out of my face get out of my phone but why What's so wrong with a guy saying, I hope you have a good day? Like, put some effort. Actually try to make me have a good day, you know? So what does a guy really have to do to show that he's putting forth some effort to ensure that one has a good day? Like, send me a coffee. Can you send me flowers? Can you send me you? Can you send me food? So one can't possibly have a good day unless the guy shows up, which, okay, I get that. Or he sends one something of monetary value right bro you telling me i hope you have a good day doesn't why would i have a good day just because you say that huh actually you just pissed me off now you just pissed me off my day went from bad to worse and all that just because a guy said to have a good day those goalposts just keep moving don't they who else remembers when the bare minimum was just a guy sending a good morning text my goodness, this is evidence that some individuals will never be satisfied. Exactly. Yeah, guys, we ought to change that app from TikTok to modern women embarrassing themselves. Mate, from TikTok to mate. Yes, and they never will. Like, she said it right. She said, what happened to when sending a good morning, have a good day text was the bare minimum. Now, this is the, well, this is the wild thing. To some women it is, but you have tons of women that feel the way she does now. Oh, why are you telling me hi when you can pay my bills? Don't call me back unless you're paying my bills. You know what's funny? This woman is not the extreme. Because you got some women out there that are saying, don't say hi unless you're paying my bills. It's getting worse. Don't you agree, Mr. Feather? Word. Why is dating a single mother so hard for me? Because they're ungrateful. I remember... Y'all in these comments, no, no shade to the man or what he been through, but y'all in these comments in that video took this woman's story this man's story and ran with it y'all took this man's story and ran with it like forrest gump was running looking for jenny y'all definitely pushed it okay because not every single mother are lacking financially every single mother are not lacking authority in their household every single mother is not looking for a helping hand and truth be told some of y'all men without kids can't even help single mothers there are single mothers that's doing it all done. all done and not needing your help coming from a single mother right they you know what it is they all want to defend each other statistics show the real right and i'm not trying to bash you all actually i want it to get better i want the future men to have a chance right so therefore women need to i guess work with us somehow or try to make it better but it's really too late because guys are jumping on the planes and saying we're done we won't deal with you you'd rather go deal with I want something feminine and delicate you know a filipino or someone from somewhere else anyone outside of where you're from or with the same mindset as you because you don't see how it's an issue for guys nowadays and I get it because you fell victim. You fell victim. You're a victim. And men are on the opposite end of that. And they're not getting anything good. Most men don't have kids. Why do they want to get a woman to have kids? Think about it. Must have been a deadly. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. That's exactly what's going on. In China, if you're over 25, you're expired in the dating market. You're called a showing you leftover woman. Oh, what? It's funny. You hear so many chinese women 
She's got to be like 30. And they say it like it's nothing. Why don't they have any shame? Like, they don't care. It's how it used to be back in the day. They just shame each other all day long, and it's normal. It's like that all over Asia, actually. It's normal. After 25, you can't be picking anymore. It's like Leonardo DiCaprio's girlfriend. Imagine China is Leonardo DiCaprio. China is Leo. China is Leo. <laughs> I dare you to say this in America. Shouts out to the solo traveler. He's down there with the hat on. Uh, he's a passport bro, too. Shout out to you, man. If you go up to American girls and say you're 25, it's done. You're already done for real. They would hate that policy. That they do. In China, they do that. How come you never say anything when they come up with the 25? Why don't you say that's how we do it in China? Exactly. I wanted to do that. Let me talk about it. I think Leo is just following Chinese culture. Maybe he eat too much dim sum. He won't miss the child too many times. He just have the Chinese standard. You're over 25. You expired. Yeah. Damn! That's real. It's like they see it. You know what's funny? There's a lot of Chinese people in the West. And I'm sure a lot of them think this way. I'm sure a lot of them are telling their kids, hey, look, you need to find a man now. You're 25. Xing ye. Over 27, unmarried, female. What do you call this lady? In China, if women who remain unmarried in their late 20s and 30s, we call them sheng nu, which means leftover women. Xing <laughs> ye. You see that face? She's dead serious. She's not joking anything. She's dead serious. And I feel like it needs to be said in the West, right? You hit 25, women need to be thinking, hey, look, I need to get my stuff together. But you know what? Women are doing that. Because there's women that are graduating college, actually around 21, and most women from other cultures are locking down their man. I'm not, not all of them, but there's some that are locking down their man because they somewhat understand Shung yeah, shung yeah. I wish people, women from my community would, but you have some. I'm happy to see my my cousins. They they did it. They locked down their man. They had their man actually since high school, all the way up until college, and then all the way past that. So they did it extra early. But uh, yeah, that needs to happen for most women in the West because of this reason, and also, so you're not alone raising kids. Because the father's really needed in the home. It's true. That, and that's what the guy's trying to say. What well, a woman was saying, single, single mothers could do it in a couple of videos ago. They can. But is it suggested? No. Because most of them fail. Let me go on to the next one. Why is it that the more successful I've become, the less that men seem to want to date me? For those of you who are further along in your careers, I'm really curious to hear what your experience has been with this. So wanted to share mine. I always get told that I am too intimidating... Just because I am a strong, independent woman doesn't mean that I want to be that in every single category of my life because I'll tell you, I'm exhausted and I would really love to have some help sometimes. <laughs> and I miss having a kind of companionship and partnership. And I want to still be able to have my hobbies. I want my partner to have their hobbies, right? Or future partner because I'm single. When I go on first dates, I try really hard to not talk too much about my job. I really want to get to know the other person, what they care about, things that they like to do, and just enjoy their presence and have a good time. I'm not here to be, you know, like it's like some kind of interview or something like that. <laughs> and so I actually try not to answer too many questions about my job. Like I just kind of try to quickly, oh yeah, this is what I do, and then like try to move on, you know? I've actually had an amazing dating experience so far in New York. I've been here for almost a year now. I also think that it's not necessarily a bad thing to have this automatic filter. I've come to embrace it. It's just kind of interesting because I noticed that people make a lot of comments or they kind of put me on some kind of pedestal or they just they just make these observations. It's hard to pinpoint exactly, but I'm curious if anyone else, especially career women, if you've had this experience before, I try really hard to just not talk about what I do for work. I would say from my experience, this is gender specific and I've only noticed this with men as a bisexual woman. I haven't had this experience when dating women or non-binary individuals. You're having a problem with men and you're wondering what it is. It's exactly what men have been saying it is for the longest, right? You don't realize the men that are of your elk, right? She comes, she's in New York. So when people come to New she probably moved to New York. So she got a promotion recently. And so you're dating a guy, he's automatically thinking. All he has to ask is, where do you work? 
once he asks, where do you work? If he it makes a lot of money, he's automatically thinking, because she's in New York, right? So she's making big money. So he's thinking, why could she afford to live there? Think about it. And so he's automatically thinking, red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. It's just embedded in men's DNA nowadays, right? It's something written in the DNA, especially coming from New York. That's the home of the modern woman. You move to the home of the modern woman and wondering why guys are like that. You look stressed. You look stressed, but it's fine. Um, the way you're coming across, you may have to get used to being long, lonely. You know what? I got to say this. As long as you're not a single, at least you're not a single mom out here lonely. You know, you let him hit it raw. Now you're a single mom. That's stuck in my head. But um, yeah, you don't have that to look to worry about. So I think you're okay. But still, <sighs> you spent too much time focusing on yourself. Men want women to have time. Let me go on to the next one. You even have a chance with those women because you ain't in your own country is because they're using you for your money. That's feminism, baby. You're mad that women in the States probably want you to take care of some bills. That's fine. They want you to pay for dinner, but you don't have a problem doing that over there because able enough to be able to provide um, for the both of us. Um, okay. I'm not into doing 50 50 with anybody. If that's the case, I can be by myself. Now you're a single mom. So I'm not doing 50 50. If you can't do that, then keep moving. And I have a daughter, so we come together. Mm -hmm. So if you don't feel like you can help out with me and my kid, then we don't have anything to talk about. Okay. You know, a lot of men are going to tell you, what, what do you bring since right. you're bringing your daughter? What, what are you going <laughs> to add to the relationship? Um, I'm adding myself. What? So that's all I have for you. I I don't bring anything to I don't have anything to bring to a table, okay? I am the table and most of these men don't even have a table. Look what it says here. It says, give me your money, take care of Pookie's progeny. I have nothing to offer except high mileage box, sacrifice your time and energy, watch as I destroy your life. Now, how is she going to destroy your, your life? Wasting your time and energy. Because that's exactly how it's going to waste your life. You sp you're spending your time with women who aren't going anywhere with you. With a woman that maybe doesn't have your firstborn. Maybe you already have a firstborn and you want a woman to have a second child. Most guys that are leaving want a woman to raise their family and a lot of times raise it from scratch. Right? I speak to guys all the time, 30 years old, 40 years old, no kids. You know, a woman in the West, oh, something's wrong with him. He must be gay. He must be gay. Stop it. Get some help. Think about it. Guy, a guy that has no kids, a lot of times doesn't want to deal with you. And why is that? He doesn't want any issues. He knows. He's seen so many guys before him fail at it. Why would he waste his time? Right? That's what Pastor Bros think. Like, why would we waste our time with you when we can find something more better for us when we leave? But let me finish this video. Table, all they have is bar stools. It's delusional. So <laughs> let's let's be for real. Yeah, that's serious. Let me see what this brother here gotta say. Hey man, rest in peace to all them passport bros that then got offed over there in Colombia. And it's not gonna work. Guys don't want to deal with you because we all realize this is the way. Passport, bro. Passport, no. It's definitely more to life than dealing with that. 